to today's more important analysis videos on Wednesday 4th of April with me, which is Pro Market Analyst at Handtech Markets on Wednesday 4th of April. Um, we've had, uh, well, overnight there was a bit of a consolidation actually on markets, but that's now turned into a bit of a negative move. Um, I'll show you the board, uh, whereby the markets have taken on a bit of a dollar negative, um, bit of a risk off angle as well. Um, and that's come as China has responded to the US um, trade tariffs. Um, China has responded with 25% tariffs on soya products, on um, US aircrafts, and on a, a range of industries in the US uh, as a response to this uh, long uh, list of um, $50 billion worth of uh, Chinese products that the US put tariffs on. So there's a tip for tap war going on. Um, bit of a spat. Obviously, this is turning into um, and it's escalating seemingly uh, fairly quickly. Um, there is the prospect of negotiations still open, but the fact that the, the two are still continuing to respond to each other uh, in this um, unilateral way is not positive generally for markets. And uh, subsequently, we've seen. Um, Certainly the DAX coming under pressure this morning. FTSE was flat around the open, but it's now sort of dropped around about half a percent. Uh, and we've seen gold that was um, flat early doors and then has now jumped 11, 12 bucks. So we can see these safe haven trades yen again, um, now sort of half a percent stronger against the dollar, uh, pulling dollar yen lower. And I'll sort of take you through the impact of these uh, on the charts in a bit. But uh, you can see that there has been a reaction uh, to these China um, response. And um, yeah, it uh, seems to be risk off uh, generally. Uh, dollar, the impact on the dollar has just dragged it lower a little bit. Treasury yields are sort of trading around the lows of the day on the 10-year and the 2-year. Um, you've got the dollar, which is just sort of, pulled over a little bit, nothing too decisive yet, but uh, yeah, there is, um, any time you do tend to see the uh, markets reacting in a negative response to the uh, trade tariffs, you see the dollar under pressure, um, certainly with China um, sort of responding as they have, the dollar is under pressure due to that, uh, and the general sort of impact on global trade means it's a, a bit of a risk off tr um, positioning today. So um, that is not the only factor that we have today because we've got Eurozone inflation and ISM non-manufacturing uh, this afternoon. Eurozone inflation is going to be important because it's the flash reading and um, expecting to see the headline jumping from uh, 1.1% uh, 1 1 to 1.4%. Now that's 1.4%. 2% because that was the flash reading last month. That's how Reuters do their data, unfortunately. Um, but the pr revised reading was down to 1.1, so that would be 1.1 to 1.4 on the headline. Uh, the core, uh, the core reading would be 1. Point, um, is expected to, to see a lift actually, um, and that, that would be a lift back to 1. Point, uh, 1.1 percent from 1.0 percent. So um, yeah, that's the expectation there at 10 o'clock. In the in terms of the uh, ISM non-manufacturing later this afternoon at 3 o'clock, it's expected to tick lower to 59 from 55 59s but five. So still pretty strong data there for the ISM non-manufacturing, but again just ticking lower. Um, but this afternoon we have also got the uh, EIA inventories. Expected to show a crude oil build of 0.4 million barrels, um, distillates and gasoline again in a bit of a drawdown, but nothing too decisive. Um, but uh, yeah, so there is also um, what's on my list here: factory orders um, at uh, three o'clock, 1.8 percent month-on-month increase there. Now my chance of the day. This is interesting. My chance of the day is dollar CAD, which on an intraday basis yesterday completed this head and shoulders top. Didn't quite make it on a closing basis. 128 figure is that support of the neckline. Didn't quite make it on a closing basis and today initially moved to the downside but since the China announcement we've seen the uh, sort of slight um, sort of uh, turnaround in that market as the uh, risk off mood has taken the market so clearly the risk off element to uh, trading has sort of uh, outweighed the dollar negative so far but dollar negativity on this as uh, the the cad has sort of strengthened in the last week and uh, or couple of weeks 
has come as sort of the expectation that NAFTA is actually, or the renegotiations of NAFTA is actually progressing fairly well. And you can see that coming through the technicals here. You can see that the momentum indicators have rolled over that RSI at 46. That is the lowest since early Feb when the market started that rally. You can see the stochastics. Look at that negative configuration on the stochastics. The MACD lines falling and dropping away. This is turning into a corrective move. And whilst that um, 29.43 reaction high from Friday is intact, I think that this is still going to be sort of turning into a top pattern. Now, we haven't had the, cl the confirmed closing breach of 128 figure yet, so that is important. I think that needs to be seen to really be confident that this is sort of moving lower. And I think that if we do get a closing breach of 128 figure, then we can look at 126.50 at least as uh, 150 pips of downside because that's the next sort of pivot area. But you do have a, a 325 pip top pattern there. So there is sort of downside potential that you could be seen. And RSI 46, if, that, if the um, NAFTA goes well, then certainly we could see the momentum in that trade going to the downside. So I think this is um, this is one to certainly watch now. Uh, with that in mind, I wish you good luck in your trading and I'll speak to you later.